Madam President. The Republican leader. Western Kentucky is still reeling from last weekend's devastating storm, but support is rolling in from around the Commonwealth, our region, and the country as well. Yesterday, I spoke with the CEO of LifePoint Health. They operate 10 hospitals in Kentucky, including one in hard-hit Mayfield. Miraculously, their Jackson Purchase Medical Center survived the tornado mostly intact. Now it is offering much needed medical services right there in Mayfield. Nurses and doctors have worked literally day and night. LifePoint Health shipped water tankers to their facility to boost their local supply. And the company has pledged a million dollars to help Kentucky rebuild. Across our region, individuals and companies are opening their hearts, homes, and wallets to help. We've received important assistance from here in Washington as well. Yesterday, the president announced the federal government will fund the entire cost of debris removal and emergency protective measures in the eight counties hardest hit by the storm for the next month. Local officials won't need to worry about overstretching budgets they can just focus on rebuilding. My team and I are working hard to continue connecting Kentuckians with the resources they need. I've set up a portal on my Senate office website to help my constituents access government assistance. It has a full list of services provided by our disaster response agencies. Because of the federal government's swift action in the past week, victims of these tornadoes can access housing assistance, legal aid, crisis counseling, and more. I recommend every impacted Kentuckian take advantage of these resources, and my office is here to help you navigate. I'll travel back to Kentucky tomorrow to visit several of the communities that were hit hardest and meet with local leaders who are spearheading recovery efforts. I'll listen to their concerns and bring their stories back to Washington to ensure that they get the help they desperately need. The scene on the ground in Western Kentucky is still devastating and quite discouraging. Far too many families this Christmas will be tragically abnormal. But we'll continue to work together to provide Kentucky with the resources it needs to recover bigger and better than before.